Hi, this is Ria from Dragon Image, and today I'm going to show you how to really accurately control your lighting with these set of gobos. Uh, you can see here I've actually um, created a circle, a very fine, precise circle, uh, just using uh, a cob light. So something like a Shark 3000, uh, the Light Pro Shark 3000. You can also use this with any aperture lights or even any flashlights that use um, Bowen's mount fittings. Um, so for instance, the 300Ds, 120Ds, like I said before, Shark 3000s, the Shark 1200, uh, any cob light with, um, with Bowen's mount or any flashlight with Bowen's mount. Um, now this light or this gobo actually can actually be adapted to even um, Ditos and any light that uses the same Dito attachment fitting or you know the bit in the front with where you put the barn doors, um, it pretty much just sits right on there. Um, and I'll get a little bit more into that later. Um, right now I'll show you a bit more of what you can do. So I'll just change the gobo here to something more of like a window effect. So just change it now. And bam, now you can see that I've pretty much just put something like a cross window effect. Um, you can even change how big and how uh, small this looks um, with different type of lenses. Uh, so right now this is on a 50 mil lens um, and you can change it to 85, 100 mil, whatever you want. Um, and the reason I can do that is because it's actually an EF mount um, fitting. And that's pretty much how the lens works and how that is projecting that gobo. Um, just through a generic EF mount and you can put any of your other EF lenses on it um, and it'll work just the same. And I'll, I'll show you a little bit more into that um, later on and how you can actually attach it and what lenses you can use. Yeah, perfect. So now you can see that I've actually got a really sharp and a bit smaller um, uh, window effect uh, and that's purely just using uh, different focal lengths. Um, so I'll get into that a little bit later, how you can actually um, just switch out your lenses uh, because it, like I said before, it is just an EF mount um, attachment. So you, there's a lot of variety that you can choose. Whatever lens that you have available is what you can um, attach. Another cool feature that you can do is actually change um, the different type of gobo to be like a film-like effect um, by just putting um, different kind of like projection films inside. So I'll just change to one right now. Cool, so here we have um, kind of like a moonlit street. Um, and so with this kind of um, effect, you can pretty much change the scene of anywhere you want. You can um, add really cool projections. You can create your own projections. Um, and slide them in, um, pretty much anything um, that will, have, will, will let light shoot through it um, will be able to be projected through uh, this uh, gobo attachment for your light. Cool, so here we have the actual uh, spot light attachment um, and it's uh, currently situated uh, on the Light Pro's Shark 3000, uh, which is a Bowen's Mount Cob light, um, like I mentioned before. Um, and here, just this little bit there, is the gobo attachment. And you can see I've already got like a little film here um, and you can attach any number of gobos that you want. Um, and you can also create your own or you can buy them straight from Roscoe. Um, and I can uh, put a link in the bottom of the video to where you can uh, get more gobos and what kind of gobos you can get. Here is the window gobo that I was using before. Uh, this is the circular gobo and you've got even more like the just a straight um, line gobo. Uh, so yeah, heaps of options. Um, and really when it comes down to it, when you're doing lighting on set, um, a lot of the time, most of the time, lighting is gonna be about control. Uh, and controlling your light um, is one of the most important parts. Um, so when using this attachment, um, having that option uh, for different types of gobos, different types of films, being able to uh, do different types of effects um, and really hone in on those um, key, key lighting techniques is what's really gonna separate uh, you as a gaffer or as a videographer or photographer even um, compared to uh, just using a straight uh, cob light with a soft box or, or with a reflector. Uh, this is really gonna give you a lot more um, flexibility. Um, so I'll show you as well um, how you can even change uh, the field of view or, the, or essentially um, how to uh, make your gobos smaller or larger uh, simply by just changing the lens. Uh, so the lens here is a 50 uh, millimeter lens and this comes and ships with uh, this attachment. 
um, and it's all manual aperture, manual uh, focus. Uh, when using this attachment, you definitely want to be using a manual focus uh, and manual aperture lens uh, because then you'll be able to uh, focus in on the uh, perfect uh, sharpness of your, of your light, of your gobo, um, and you'll also be able to completely open it uh, wide open so that you can get more light through or close it down to kind of get it a bit more sharper. Um, so here I have a standard Rokinon EF mount 85 millimeter. Um, so, so pretty generic lens. Uh, most people will have this in their kit. Uh, you can, just like any other mount, EF mount, fit it right there. Um, and now what's going to happen is that it's going to spot that uh, gobo in. It's going to make it smaller. Uh, it's going to be a bit more visible. Um, and you've got all the same features. And because these Rokinons are manual focus um, and manual aperture, you've got, and also declicked aperture, which is really great, um, gives you the ability to really focus in and hone in on that uh, perfect, um, perfect sharpness and perfect consistency. All right, so what I have here is the Light Pro uh, DFP80, uh, which is quite similar to the Dido um, and any other light that uses these kind of fittings for the barn door. Um, so you might be quite familiar for it, with it. Um, so when using Dido lights or this light in particular, you can adapt uh, this spotlight mount uh, directly to it using this adapter. Uh, so this is a uh, Bowens to uh, Dido fitting adapter. So just sl uh, slots on there. Uh, so then just pop off the barn doors like that, slide it on top like that, bam, lock it in place, and there you go. Now you've got um, the light adapted straight to a Light Pro DFP80, um, which has actually got an inbuilt lens in it, um, which gives you a little bit more focusing ability um, and spotting ability, and um, might not cost as much as a, um, a Cobb mount, uh, three, like like the 300 watt cob mount that we have here, um, or cob light. Uh, and you can also use it on Dito, like a tungsten Dito or a uh, LED Dito, anything uh, that uses that fitting. Uh, so quite versatile, um, a lot of things that you can do with this attachment. I'll put a, a few links uh, in the description so you can see, um, and also attach some images uh, so you can really see what um, kind of effects that you can really get out of this. Uh, so if you've got any other questions, if you'd like to know more about it, uh, please uh, have, share and follow and like and uh, come to the store and have a look at it. Thanks.